You're still tuned to Plus TV Africa right here, and uh, it's time for us to go through the pages of the National Dailies. We call it Off the Press. Ezekiel Nyaito joins the conversation. The architect, Otoe Kong, it's good to have you join us this morning. It's always a pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right. Uh, we we'll take a look at the leadership newspaper. Presidential candidate faults open grazing and does uh, state please. Feels like we're back to this conversation of, you know, state please. It's always evolving. Uh, that's at the ICANN conference. Underneath, OB says corruption easy to tame. Atiku insists on restructuring and private sector driven economy. Show Red declares 2023 budget illegal. Nadin elders orders to engage Atiku. Chinubu Obi, and uh, just uh, on, you also have addresses Wiki's grievance for peace to reign, or address Wiki's grievance for peace to reign. Uh, that's what you find underneath the bold caption. But just before we move away, 146 petrol trucks arrive in Abuja as Lokoja flood uh, recedes. 146 truck of petrol arrives at Buja as Lokoja flood recedes. Attorney General approves the prosecution of ex-aviation minister Stella Odoa. And uh, we also have another caption. Foreign local investor Storm Gombe for first summit as Inua assures of safety. NAS passes 2023 appropriation bill for second reading. That's the much we can take this morning on the leadership newspaper. All right, let's move on from the leadership newspaper and quickly look at the headlines on the front page of the nation. Tinubu presents manifesto to APC National Working Committee uh, governors, APC National Working Committee governors, and uh, the chairman of the party was noticeably absent at uh, that uh, event. If uh, the news that we have uh, coming out yesterday is anything to go by, Does someone was uh, uh, saying no, that he saw a video that showed the chairman of the party was there. Uh, CGN to politicians, don't put pressure on judiciary. A student work visa restrictions on Nigerians, likely UK warns. Uh, Obajana Kogi, uh, well, uh, uh, regarding that UK story, I do not know if it has anything to uh, do with the professor who was um, uh, wishing uh, the, the queen a painful death. Uh, Obajana Kogi challenges Dangote to prove ownership. A court dismisses three suits against Abionu, um, that's the governor, I think, of Ogun State. 95 million Nigerians to elect president next year, says Einik. Uh, flooding, extent of damage to roads, public infrastructure uncertain. All right, there's some of the headlines on the front page of the nation. 10,000 police officers undergoing training on digital skills, says IG. Hope that we'll see the result of that. Um, PDP crisis, Atiku drafts, Mark. Ibori Odili to Beck Wike. Yesterday night, some breaking news emerged uh, indicating that the PDP had put on hold the Atiku presidential campaign. They were meant to be, uh, I think, in Zamfara State today, Kebi State yesterday. They haven't gone there. They didn't go and they will not go because they want to solve the Wike matter before they continue. So they, I think the campaigns of the three major parties are having issues right now. If I want to add what's happening in Labour Party to that, I guess we'll talk some more about that uh, when we come to him. Messi, over to you. Well, let's take a look at the Nigerian Tribune. On the front page of the Nigerian Tribune, I made fresh CUPP alarm. INEC says Beavers has come to stay. 95 million voter registration to elect next president. That's what the uh, chairman of INEC is saying. Wiki appoints 28,000 special assistants for pooling units. And uh, I mean, it's, it's a conversation that, that we've had, was saying between the governor of uh, River State and that of Cross River, who's topping the chart in terms of having, you know, political appointees. Tunubu governor's campaign council, NWC meets uh, push campaign kickoff dates to Buhari, Adamu not in attendance. Obi Dati absent as Labour unveils 1,234 man presidential campaign council. NLC TUC president makes list. Uh, PDP to Tunubu, you are dazed by Atiku's popularity. 10,000 police officers undergoing training on digital skills. That's what the IGP is saying. And 10,000 teachers to write exams as Kaduna set for recruitment. 
are still interesting headlines on the Nigerian Tribune. The federal government, or I beg your pardon, that's the Federal Executive Council, the FEC, OK's MTN takeover of 202.8 billion Enugu Onicha road construction. And OK's uh, 13 billion free truck maintenance center for uh, Katsina. And just before we move away, court dismisses three cases filed against Ogun governor or government, uh, according to the APC. These are some of the headlines on the Nigerian Tribune. Very quickly, we go over to the punch. The lead one there, insecurity may hamper elections in northwest, uh, southeast. INEC is saying that with the writers to that headline, Mahmoud worries over insecurity, or security rather, of commission officials, election materials, voter safety. Uh, Bivas dispatched to 23 states. INEC rules out identity theft, uh, multiple registrations. INEC uh, rules out identity theft, multiple registrations. APC kicks as PDP, others alleged, plot to dump e transmission of results. Uh, I don't know if uh, that is connected with, um, I mean, that, that is a reaction to the CUPP's uh, statement yesterday. It's a controversial one. Um, a real line not greater than CGN, six judiciary's independence. Uh, some of the uh, stories on the front page of the punch. We'll look at more as, if time permits uh, us to do so. But uh, um, Ezekiel and Etuk, let's start with um, the situation in the political parties. It seems uh, that uh, not all is well. You know, there's some rumble in the jungles at all the political parties. Yesterday it was um, Liberal Party, you know, which was trending. We saw that uh, uh, the party allegedly saying that they do not know, they're not aware, or let's say the way the Nigerian politicians would say they're not aware of um, <laughs> the, that, that list, that presidential campaign list, uh, which Doyen Okupe said he's, uh, of which he says he's a DG, even the list shows some other person as a chairman. In the APC, we see that. Um, uh, from one of the papers, this should be the leadership, or I think it's uh, yeah, in front of the in front page of the um, the Tribune, that uh, the party chairman was not at the the meeting uh, Tinubu had with the campaign council, the National Working Committee, and governance of the party, and with the PDP, Atiku has um, suspended his presidential campaign. So I wanted to talk about the situation in all these parties. I know there are other parties like ADC, but we don't have anything to to. To, to hold on to on the front pages. So over to you, sir. <laughs> um, good morning, Nigeria. And um, thanks for having me, uh, Plus TV Africa, and my brother and sister there. What a day. It's a lovely time. And um, you see, Nigeria and, and political parties are waking up to the reality of what we have in the 2023 a 2022 electoral act picking up and discovering that there's really fire on the mountain. For the first time, and I've said this time and time again, for the umpteenth time, you cannot, for the life of you, you know, dismiss a man like we came with the wave of their hand. You can't do it. You can't do it. I say it. There are many things about Wicked. Number one is that he has a, he has a heart. When he wants to do it, do something, he does it. He goes out of his way to do it. Number two is that he has the resources. And number three is that over the period, he built some level of influence across. So when you say wicked, you're not saying river state. When you say wicked, you're saying, you know, a good part of Nigeria. And um, all of a sudden, what I have always told uh, my Oga. Uh, um, article to do all along, cool down. You see, there's something about politics that people don't, don't know. You're a leader. Please be careful about the advice that you get from your followers. A lot of times, such advice is from inferiority complex. It's not about you, it's about them. They feel that if they allow this person a space, then their own space will shrink. For instance, if I'm like um, the king of an area, so to speak, why would I want you to, to bring somebody of influence into my own area? I'll tell you, no, 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 the guy is not worthy. It's not. Whereas between your best interest, that I will advise it against because it is not in my interest. So political loyalty is personal interest before the, the, the boss's interest. A lot of times it's like that. Now, that is for the PDP. 
And um, I hope that um, the better late than never will apply in their case. When you come to APC, there's something fundamentally flawed, wrong, difficult to understand about the presidential candidate. This issue of being absent at every public um, um, forum, I really don't know what the game plan is. It just doesn't um, go down well with me. Look at what happened yesterday. And then uh, what would have expected would have been a day. I mean, he's come back and uh, said to me, you know, um, hell and hearty. It would have been a day for him to go there and shine and put up a certain policy statement. Boom. But where was he? He was missing. And then the Labour Party, Labour Party, they are doing certain things. They are doing well, very well, but they are certain mistakes you should correct and correct fast. For instance, if you go to an area, you come to a quiet bomb, so to speak, and no matter how influential that Yoruba man is, please appeal to the person and say, for the sake of what we are doing, let's have this person as the figurehead, even if you want to say so, one of their own. And then call the two of them in house and say, you know, this guy has the capacity to run this, that is all from your state to them. And please find who are working together. No matter, it's like what um, and, uh, um, um, APC is doing, going to northern Nigeria and telling them all of the Christians of northern Nigeria that none of them is good enough to be a vice president. I mean, it's a slab. It's a, it's a slab that, I mean, you, you can't recover from easily. So going back to what I was saying, Labour Party has to be careful to, to, to remove the people that are not indigenous in those areas you know, you, you make you make haste slowly. So the, the 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 wisdom is profitable to direct. That's what the Bible says. Don't let people feel that they are they are not good enough in their own land. I mean it's it, it's an insult. So I believe that they will make those adjustments, they will not let it linger and become talking points. They will listen say, Oh, sorry, you know, it was a mix of yeah, yeah, we correct it. Please don't argue about it, don't try to justify it. It's called common sense. Just let it be that way. When that is done, I think they'll have their way. As concerning the APC, um, 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 well, may I be excused to reserve my comment for now? I'm running the governorship campaign in Akwaibo. I've been very busy in Akwaibo, going round and getting ready to win the election. So it, so it means what now, you're saying is that the, 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 the enough to just yes. let me just stop there. Okay. <laughs> so it, it means well, the ADC, I'm sure. Being a party with humans, you're all humans who may also have his own internal issues with the campaign. I'm not hearing anything about the presidential campaign uh, of, of the ADC. Uh, but, but I also would like you to talk about, before Messi comes in, the, 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 what, what, why political parties have this. Because you're looking at, the, like I said, the, the, the APC has its own issues. Uh, that letter, well-written letter with a lot of good English by uh, Abdullah, Senator Abdullah Adam, who has not been replaced by Enek till now, after he left the Senate. Um, complaining to Tinibu that, see, we, I don't know this, I cannot recognize this campaign council list you put out. You know, uh, we're not carried along. You have to change. And uh, we can see that when they have the meeting yesterday, we don't know why he wasn't in attendance. But the, the media, the press, the papers are making issue of the fact that he wasn't there. That's number one. Number two, the Labour Party also has issues. It seems the party spokesman is saying they don't know about the list that Donya Kupe released to the world yesterday. So why do we have these things going on? Uh, what we have these things going on is that there is a certain level of uncertainty and um, political parties are still trying to adjust to you know, the new normal that we have. You know, COVID taught us the concept of the new normal. Uh, this, this, uh, this, this 2023 is unlike any other year. And people are slow in... In, in moving into the new reality of election where the vote of the people will count. So there is a conflict, you know, a system shock between those institutionalized systems people who want to do things the way it has always been done, okay, and the people who want to win elections who say, look, it's about mass mobilization of the people. I'll talk of the Labour Party, for instance, you know, you know, if the Assembly State, if you take a place like Lagos State, you would realize that, um, I hope you're hearing me. We loud and clear, loud and clear. Okay, great. If you take a place like Lagos State, you would realize that technically it's a Yoruba state, okay? But in terms of 
political awareness and um, you know and and uh, and, and the visibility. Lagos State has become a cosmopolitan state where a, the indigenes are not probably as much as the non-indigenes, and the the, the, the the indigenes will tend to have a sentiment towards the APC factor. But the non-indigenes who are in the majority uh, would want to lean towards a new normal, a new cosmopolitan Lagos where everybody comes to do business. And within that concept, they may be compelled to look, they may be inclined to look at a man like Peter or be coming in and playing the new game. And within that context, the, the capacity mobilizer might not be an indigenous. So for you to, you may be thinking in terms of getting a capacity mobilizer, you know, and it might happen to be a house man, it might happen to be an individual man, an unknown person. But you see, you have to juxtapose that with the traditional institution who say, no, it has to be, this is our state, we must be in control. So that kind of conflict of the new normal and the institutionalized thinking will bring a rocking. So you ought to have people who have foresight, who think ahead, and because of that, you start to preempt and you act towards you know, that preempted uh, 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 position. So that before the decision is made, the announcement is made, you've already cleared the ground so that people get to understand. All right. If you uh, can't do that pragmatic, if it doesn't allow you, then you do a second uh, approach, which is now we let your people know, for here we're going to have somebody who is like, give two titles, okay? Is, is it going to, like for the want of time, uh, let's yes. delve into another you know, issue that's also on the front burner, and it's about the elections. Yes in 2023. Yeah. Uh, the punch says yeah. that iron insecurity may hamper elections in the Northwest and not East. That's what INEC is, is saying. And um, there's been a question about the credibility of uh, the elections, the umpire conducting or delivering a free, credible elections. Do you think that you know, there's hope for us to have a credible elections in 2023, especially with the concerns of INEC? They are saying, I mean, if you look at what's going on in these places, deploying uh, our officials to this region and ensuring that uh, equipment are protected, it's, it's a major concern. So my question is, do you think that in 2023 that the electoral umpire would deliver a free, credible elections? The answer is, yeah, my answer is, my answer is very emphatic. Yes. Y E S capital letters bold underlined red. We will be able to have free, fair, credible elections in 2023. Let me tell you how things work. When you move your mind to the certain perspective, you start to magnify that, and eventually you may have that happening. That's why the Bible says, As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Nigerians cannot afford to as much as contemplate. A 2023 where we don't have free, fair, fair and credible elections. That's why I like what CUPP is doing. They preempt you, they put you on the spot, they take you on. We want to have. We don't want any, oh, we will, we will, we will not. No, we will have credible elections. So, INEC, if they are trying to rule INEC chairman, let's talk about it. If they are trying to change the beavers, let's talk about it. Now, not when it is late. So, I like what CUPP is doing. I like what INEC is also doing, saying, look, we need to have security taken care of in this place. And what that tells you is that if you are wanting to be a governor in a particular state, you better all the parties make sure that the, that the environment is conducive because if it's not, your election may not hold. But the rest of Nigeria, elections will hold. I can tell you that for free. Elections will hold. And we will have enough figures to be able to declare a president a winner. I can tell you that for free. So let every Nigerian take up the responsibility of making sure that peace is maintained in their areas so that we'll be able to have free, fair, credible elections. For INEC, I'm very much with them, and I believe that they will give us. As for beavers, there is no going Nigeria, no body, no devil, no demon should as much as contemplate a river on that because that will be the biggest tragedy. I'll say this for free to me. But the biggest thing that has happened to Nigeria since 1960 is the introduction of the beaver. 
Is it, yeah, I talk, it, it's, it's okay to be very, you know, uh, positive, optimistic, right? But it's also okay to look at the reality and the facts on ground as well and find a way to solve the problem before, you know, we get to a point where we are saying, oh, we, we didn't really know. And it's a good thing that INEC is sounding whatever uh, it is, the consensus that, you know, they think that these are threats to the elections. According to them, over 41 attacks have, excluding that has been carried out against offices across 14 states since 2019. And, uh, you know, the 2019 elections, general elections, which also uh, affects, you know, the Southeast and recording 13 attacks as well. So we're looking at all of this and we understand the security situation. Even in recent times, just in 2022, there's a lot that has happened in this region. And so what, what do you think that can be done? As much as it's okay to okay. say we need to stay positive, but what Let can be done to ensure that, you know, all this is addressed before as, as we get closer to 2023 for the elections? Good. Let, let, let me make a very fundamental statement that we should hold very dear. Being pessimistic is not being realistic. Being optimistic is not being unreal. The Bible says you shall say to this mountain, you acknowledge it as a mountain, but it doesn't stop there. A pessimist is a mountain, but a realist says to the mountain, be thou removed. So by saying there will be free, fair, credible elections, it's not being pessimistic, it's not being unrealistic, it is, or rather, it's not being unrealistic, it is being both optimistic and practical about it. That's why I commend UPP and INEC. Now, what is the mountain? Insecurity. What do we do about it? We don't moan about it. We don't complain about it. We ask ourselves, who are the people? Number one, I tell the governorship candidates in each of these states, you need to have a peaceful environment for you to operate. So join hands. Join, call everybody. We must have peace. Where are the problems? Let's work with the, the police uh, around or with the army. Let Nigeria be part of solving the problem of insecurity. Don't only leave it to the army. Is there any positive information you can get across to them? Give it to the people. Is there anybody around you that you think is a tormenting problem? Report it to the police. Find a way of letting it be our, uh, our solution to our problem. Okay. When we right. do that, and, if, and of course, call the authorities. You know, recently there's been a situation where they say, oh, the army is making progress because the president seems to be giving more positive vibes. Mm. Let's not encourage the president to give more positive vibes to the All army right. and to the police. Okay. To start with the security. Oteko, we have we have to leave with that. Um, looking forward yes, to seeing sir. you you in 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 full color color next time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but campaign has started. Started campaign. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. We appreciate your time and your your expert Thank analysis you. as Thank always. Um, look God forward to you. having you. you next time. Have a wonderful day. Uh, Mercy and myself will be back uh, after this short break to look at um, some developments in the telecommunications sector and the effect of that. Uh, on the forthcoming elections in 2023. Please stay with us.